Hey guys, what is up? It's DeathSoul94 here, and today I am going to show you how to use Xbox One controllers on the game Star Wars The Old Republic. Or basically just any controller, really. So, you may be asking me, Death Soul, why would you want to use a controller on the MMO? Like, less op to use when you play it. Sorry for the stutter. Now, the thing is, you may be right, there is more options available with the keyboard, but I find it hard to use combat on a keyboard. Like, when I'm playing an RPG like that, I mean, like, I haven't played those other games that utilize, like, the mouse as a camera, but, like, when they use a mouse as a cursor, I find it a bit difficult to play, so I've found a way to play the Old Republic, or, I mean, this could work probably with World of Warcraft also, but I don't, I don't really play World of Warcraft, it's not really my style. Um, but anyways, enough about that. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the programs you will be needing, well, the things you'll be needing is a controller, duh. And then also what you'll be needing is the program called Xpatter. You also need the driver for your controller as well, and, uh, and if you don't have it, it won't work. So, um, the first thing you're gonna want to do is open XPatter. Now, when you open it, make sure you run it as administrator. If you don't, it won't work when you're playing a game. So, first thing you'll want to do is create a new layout and I'm just gonna paste an image. You're gonna wanna have an image so you know where to put the buttons and the controllers and stuff like that. Alright, now for the sticks. You're gonna wanna, it's gonna ask you to do this, so just do what it says, it's not working for me. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, there we go. Alright, it's working, I'm gonna put it right. So what you're gonna wanna do is once it asks you to do that, like once it asks you, like, if the sticks work, you're gonna put it on where it's located on the image. So, like, when I do it for the right stick, up, down, yeah, like that, and you're gonna want to put it right here. Um, sorry, I just had to have a drink. And now for the D-pad, as I said, same method, and make sure you get it where and make sure you press the inputs in telling you to because if you don't it will it will mess it up alright for buttons this is a little more trickier because you gotta take your time with these like for example I'm gonna press X and when you press the button you want put it where it is located on the controller so I press Y you're gonna wanna put it on Y press B gonna wanna put it on B and so on and so on. A goes for A. Um, start goes for start. Select goes for select. Blah 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 blah. It would go here, I guess. <laughs> and then you're gonna want to go to the triggers. So, um, it's gonna ask you to hold down the triggers. Do that, and voila, you're good to go. Now. Let's get started on making a profile. See, I like to use the Jedi Knight class in Star Wars The Old Republic because it's predominantly a melee class. And I love those classes in RPGs. So here's what we're going to want to do. We're going to, for this one, we're just going to, we're just going to put the movement controls so that you'll be able to move. Oh, I forgot one more thing. You'll... One thing you want to remember is to make sure to add the sticks, like, go back on buttons, click the sticks, and, because these will be necessary in order for looking around and other stuff. Get those. Alright. So for this, I mean, like, I'm gonna put it for I, but once you unlock the skill to sprint, you're gonna wanna put that for sprint and maybe just toggle it. Your preference. For for select, I'm gonna go for map so I can access the map easily like you can with like if you play an MMO like ESO on the console, you can just press the select button and you have the map open. It's like most RPGs, and that's why I'm doing it for this. 
for start, we're gonna go want to go for escape. Well, I mean, you can fig configure it how you like. This is just my profile. As for the D-pad, you want to have it set to I P C L. So it's like you have the inventory, the character abilities, the character, and the the quest screen. For this, for this part, this is gonna be the mouse. Like the right stick, the right stick is going to be focused on the mouse. So, as I said, we just put the mouse commands right here. There we go. And then, as you'll see, it'll move. I'm pressing the right. I'm moving around the right thumbstick, and it's acting like a mouse. And then here's something you're gonna want to do so that you can easily switch between cursor and looking around. You're gonna want to go on the right stick button and you're gonna want to change it to right mouse 2 and then you're gonna want to toggle it so you don't have to hold it down this makes things so much easier because you can just click whether or not you want to use the cursor or you just want to look around as if it's like on consoles and as for this part you'll want to have X as the left mouse button so that you can interact with people and for the for the buttons like for the buttons and the bumpers you can have it as whatever you want really like two three oh for a I would recommend that you make it for space so that way you'll be able to jump I mean if you like playing shooters and you like having your bumper as the jumper then <laughs> that rhyme then go right ahead this is just the way I play it like three wait four so you're gonna have the right trigger as one so that like one is supposed to be your primary attack like the one that doesn't cost any power at all so you can just attack people easily no problem and for two that's for talking with people or interacting with corpses so you can loot them I believe just like how and this that's for like seamlessly going through like the cursor and the um, camera, sorry for the stutter. And yeah, once you've got everything ready to go, get ready and hop onto Star Wars and I will show you how it's done. Alright, as you can see, we are ready to go. So let's just hop into Star Wars. Remember, make sure that x is run as an administrator so that you'll be able to you'll you'll be able to use this within the game so we're just gonna let it load and see if we did it right again sorry if I talked kinda funny throughout the video I'm just kinda tired today and a lot of talking you kinda forget what to say I mean I said everything right like don't don't worry I I said what you're supposed to do so don't worry about anything just go on your character and let's see how it works out. As you can see, I'm not using any mouse at all. I am using the controller, like the mouse on the screens you being used by my right stick on my Xbox One controller. And so here we go. I'm putting it in toggle and I'm looking around. There you have it, guys. You are now able to play Star Wars the Old Republic, I almost said Force Awakens, but nah, you're now able to play Star Wars The Old Republic on PC with a controller. Congratulations, guys. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you all liked this video. Be sure to give it a like if you like it, and subscribe for more content like this. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. Death Soul out.